Dear student, in this video we will learn chapter number 3 triangles practice set 3.5. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it today itself. Let's start. Let's recap. Here we have two square of equal size. It means both the squares are congruent to each other. Here we have two rectangles of equal size. Therefore, these two rectangles are congruent to each other. Here we have two triangles of equal size. Therefore, triangle ABC congruent triangle PQR. So, figure having same size are congruent to each other. Here we have two circles which are unequal in size. Here we have two squares which are unequal in size. Here we have two triangles which are unequal in size. So here triangle ABC is similar triangle PQR. What are similar triangles? Two triangles are similar if and only if the corresponding sides are in proportion and the corresponding angles are congruent. Now we will try to understand similar triangles with the help of an example. Let's say example. Here we have two triangle ABC and triangle PQR. In triangle ABC and triangle PQR, look at this figure. Here angle A, congruent angle P. Angle B, congruent angle Q. You can see in this figure, angle C, congruent angle R. So all three angles of both the triangles are equal. And here AB upon PQ, you can see the value of AB is given 6 and the value of PQ is given as 3. So AB upon PQ equals to 6 upon 3 equals to 2 upon 1. Similarly, BC upon QR equals to 8 upon 4 equals to 2 upon 1. And similarly, AC upon PR equals to 4 upon 2 equals to 2 upon 1. So here AB upon PQ, BC upon QR and AC upon PR has same value that is 2 upon 1. Therefore, AB upon PQ equals to BC upon QR equals to AC upon PR. So here we have two triangles whose corresponding angles are congruent and the, and the sides are in proportion. Therefore, triangle ABC similar triangle PQR. Here we have question number 1. Triangle XYZ, similar triangle LMN. Write the corresponding angles of the two triangles and also write the ratios of corresponding sides. So what is given here? Two triangles are similar. And what we have to write? Corresponding angles and ratio of corresponding sides. Let's see the solution of this question. Here we have two triangles, XYZ and LMN. So what is given? Triangle XYZ is similar triangle LMN. First, we will write pairs of corresponding angles of these two triangles. So look at this figure. Here angle X and angle L are congruent to each other. Why these two angles are congruent? How we came to know these two angles are congruent? You can see that the first letter over here in this triangle is X and here the first letter is L. Therefore, angle X is congruent to angle L. So, we can write here angle X congruent angle L. Reason will come CAST, corresponding angle of similar triangle. Similarly, look at this figure. Here angle Y congruent angle M. Okay. How we came to know angle Y is congruent to angle M? You can see that 
द नेमिंग ऑफ दिस टू ट्राइंगल ये द सेकेंड लेटर इज वाई ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल एंड ये द सेकेंड लेटर इज एम ऑफ दिस ट्राइंगल सो ही वी कैन से दैट एंगल वाई कॉन्ग्रेंट एंगल एम सिमिलरली यू कैन सी इन दिस फिगर एंगल जेड कॉन्ग्रेंट एंगल एन ओके द रीजन विल कम सी ए एस टी दैट इज करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल ऑफ सिमिलर ट्राइंगल so the first part of this question is over it was asked to write pair of corresponding angles that we wrote next we have to write ratio of corresponding sides okay so look at this figure okay you can see here xy and lm are corresponding to each other right these two sides will be congruent uh, correspond to each other how we came to know these two sides will be correspond to each other look at over here the first two letter of the triangle can you see here in solution xy okay the first two letter of the triangle is xy and here the lm is the next first two letters of the next triangle so xy will correspond to lm similarly you can see in this figure yz correspond to mn and xz correspond to ln so we can say that here xy upon lm equals to yz upon mn equals to xz upon ln that is cssst corresponding sides of similar triangle here we have the question number 2 in triangle xyz xy equals to 4 cm yz equals to 6 cm xz equals to 5 cm and if triangle abc is similar triangle pqr and pq equals to 8 cm then find the length of remaining sides of triangle pqr let's see the solution of this question here we have two triangles and you can see all the informations are mentioned in the figure itself so what is the first step here xy equals to 4 cm right yz equals to 6 cm xz equals to 5 cm and pq equals to 8 cm how we came to know it's a given right you can see in the figure i have noted all the informations these two triangles are similar right triangle xyz is similar triangle pqr how we came to know it's a given and we know that if the two triangles are similar to each other then the ratio of corresponding sides of those two triangles will be equal what would be equal ratio of their corresponding sides will be equal that is xy upon pq equals to yz upon qr equals to xz upon pr why these ratios are equal because of cscd because they are corresponding sides of similar triangle now we will substitute here the value of xy yz xz and pq let's see what we will get we will substitute the value we will get here 4 upon 8 equals to 6 upon qr equals to 5 upon pr okay you can see i have substituted value of xy yz xz and pq okay so we will consider here 4 upon 8 equals to 6 upon qr equals to 5 upon pr we will consider as equation number 1 now we can write here 4 upon 8 equals to 6 upon qr how we got this from equation number 1 you can see in the equation number 1 4 upon 8 equals to 6 upon qr now we will simplify this further so what we will get here 4 into qr equals to 6 into 8 now we will shift 4 to that side so we will get here qr equals to 6 into 8 upon 4 now we will do the cancellation we will divide 8 by 4 so 4 Two is a eight. So what you will get in the numerator six into two. So QR equals to twelve centimeter. Similarly, four upon eight equals to five upon PR. You can see the equation number one. Four upon eight is equals to five upon PR. That we got from equation number one. Now we will go for cross multiplication. So we will get here four into PR equals to five into eight. Now we will shift four to that side. So PR equals to five into eight upon four. Now we will do the cancellation. We will cancel eight by four. So four ones are and four twos are. So what we will get in the numerator? We will get five into two. So PR equals to five into two. That means ten centimeter. So PR is ten centimeter and QR is twelve centimeter. 
Here we have question number three. Draw a sketch of a pair of similar triangles. Label them. Show their corresponding angles by the same sign. Show the length of corresponding sides by numbers in our proportions. So here we have a two triangles and we have labeled those two triangles. I have named those two triangles as ABC and PQR. What is the next step over here? What is asked next things over here? Show their corresponding angles by same signs. Okay, so look at this figure. Angle A and angle P got a same kind of sign. Okay, angle A and angle P have same sign. So it means angle A congruent to angle P. Similarly, angle B and angle Q also got the same sign. So it means angle B congruent to angle Q. And angle C and angle R. You can see in the figure angle C and angle R got a same kind of mark. So the first part is over. It was asked to show their corresponding angles by same sign that we have done it. Next, it is asked to us write the length of show the length of corresponding sides by numbers in a proportion. So what we are going to do, we are going to put here some some length to all the sides of those two triangles such that their side should be in proportions. Look at where here in this figure. Here I have taken AB as 6 and PQ I have taken as 3. So what is the ratio of these two sides? AB upon PQ equals to 6 upon 3 equals to 2 upon 1. You can see that I have done the calculation. I have, I have calculated the ratio of those two sides. What we got here? 2 upon 1. Similarly, I have taken BC as 8 and QR as 4 such that the ratio of these two sides should also be 2 upon 1. Okay, so look at over here. BC upon QR equals to 8 upon 4 equals to 2 upon 1. Similarly, we will take here the length for AC and PR such that the ratio of those two sides should also be 2 upon 1. So you can see here I have taken AC as 4 and PR as 2. So AC upon PR equals to 4 upon 2 equals to 2 upon 1. So here all three ratios have same value that is 2 upon 1. Therefore, AB upon PQ equals to BC upon QR equals to AC upon PR. It means the ratio of corresponding sides of those two triangles are in proportions.